So iMovie has just had a new update and this is pretty major update I guess for iMovie uh, if you've used it in the past. Uh, this is a whole new range of things you can see as we open the app now there's Magic Movie, Storyboards um, and some additional customization in the timeline. So let's jump into the app and take a look at this. You'll notice straight away we've got a different start screen in terms of our projects. Um, beforehand we used to have trailers and movie. Now we've got magic movie, storyboard and um, our traditional kind of movie making effect as well as all of our, our previous projects and everything that you can jump into here. So let's take a look at magic movie then and see how this works. Well first of all you can see it loads up all of your uh, videos, photos, etc. in terms of your albums on the screen. So you have full access to all of those that you can scroll through to get started with anything. So let's take a look here at some uh, videos that we can make from some activities that we've done. Uh, let's say my son doing some Taekwondo. In this album, there's lots of videos already in this from various things that he's done. I can just simply tap on create magic movie. And it's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for me. So now it's going to grab all of that media and it's going to start to put that together. So a really, really quick way to get started with making your movies. Now, obviously, it's going to need to download all of that media that you're choosing from. Start to do some of that heavy lifting in the background. And then once we're in, we can start to take a look at the additional editing that we may now want to do once we've created that general template. Now, considering this for an education point of view, sometimes that blank page in iMovie can be the challenge. It can be the bit that's a little bit off-putting because you kind of just have some, some stuff and then a blank timeline. So how do you start? So this is a great way to kind of start you off because on side now, we can see we've got those videos kind of all added in. We can start to see them over here on the side and we can start to think about how we might want to put this together. Simply going through the different videos, you can check all those different elements, play through those videos, etc. And you can see it's selected elements for me already in terms of the timeline. And then all we simply need to do is just select those video bits. Let's just choose a few here to get us started. Tap done. And then choose our Create Magic Movie. Now here you can see we've got some styles, again, very similar to uh, different approaches like Kino in terms of those templates, etc. This is just a great way to get started in terms of how do I want my video to look. You'll see that different styles of text on the page, whether you want it to be like a slide, loads and loads of things in here that you can look through and you get a nice little kind of uh, example on the top to show you what it could look like. Once you've chosen all of the different elements that you might want to choose, you can then play around with the music. If you've used uh, iMovie before in the soundtracks, you'll know that there's a whole kind of world of uh, pre-made tracks in here that you can choose from, similar to those in clips, and it looks like there's some additional ones in here as well that you can choose from, but those familiar ones that you might be used to. And you can listen to those, and then you can simply add them into your movie. So it's just going to add that in. Let's just make sure we've selected that one. Back up to the top. So there we go. Tap on Add. And we can say we've chosen it. Tap Done. That's now become my music. We can play around the font. Different styles in here to choose from. Again, nice and simple. Easy to access. Let's just say we want to change a little bit of the colour on this. Let's go for a light blue theme. And again, it's that quick and easy to just change these things. And then finally, the filters that lots of people use in lots of videos for changing how you want things to look. Nice and simple. Again, quick view of all of those things, and then you're done. That's it. There's your video created. Then we can jump into that video, carry on editing, change any of those things. You can see the filter's been applied over here now. Filters on every single video that you want. And we can jump into this and take a look at how this is starting to look already on our screen. There we go. Nice and simple. And already you've got kind of a really nice professional feel to a video. 
and you really had to play around with some of those elements. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other projects then. Let's jump into Storyboard. Now, Storyboard, very, very similar to the trailers from before, but now you've got a whole load of different options depending on the type of video you want to make. You'll notice that there's all themed type approaches, cooking videos, DIY gaming, lots of things in here that children can use to get them set up. Some very specific ones as well for education, thinking about that idea of science experiments, making films, how things work, really, really nice ideas that you can do in your classroom. Shout out to some of my fellow ADEs and a nice top five thing here, Gavin Smart, Dan Oaks, you'd be pleased to see that in here. I know you were uh, big fans of the top five thing um, in the past. A great way to kind of just summarize things. And also we still have our trailer approach as well. So let's jump into the science experiment just as an example here. Again, it's just gonna download some of those elements to the device. Again, you can see you can download everything. And again, very similar to that magic move approach, we have all of those same styles that we can choose from in order to create our video. We can choose the music, the font, the color, the filters, exactly the same as before. Think about the style that you want your video to be played in. But this time, when we go into create, we have that option to now go into our camera roll start thinking about the things that we want to add in. Now, users of trailer before will be very, very familiar with the storyboard approach here because you get the simple layout for you in terms of what's the storyboard approach you see here, observations, etc., conclusions, a really, really nice way to summarize things for your students in the classroom. But you simply then need to go into editing the clip, either taking it live or selecting clips from your library to start to build this, adding the text over the top, and then you're going to create a really, really professional looking video based on, you know, in this case, that science experiment approach. Let's jump into the trailers to just see the changes that are here. Fundamentally, it's just what you had before. You can still view those uh, trailers as an overview. And we still have our outline and again, our storyboard. So that's the same as it was before. That's where it now sits, which is good to know. And then the final one is your movie. Now this jumps in exactly the same as it did before. Opportunity to see all your photos, videos, chance to go into iMovie. This is iMovie, as you know and love. It's got all of the content in there, plus those editing tools that you can play around with as well. So there we go. So there's our kind of quick intro to the updates in iMovie. Jump in, have a play. I'm going to do some more videos based around the specific projects themselves and how to actually utilize each of those things and think about how you can use them for specific subjects. So look out for those coming soon. But this is definitely jump in, have a play, have a look at those new updates. And if you've got some ideas, please share them in the comments below.